This weekend, we said goodbye to a hero and a civil rights leader. St. Petersburg retired officer Freddie Crawford died at the age of 81. He was among a group of officers known as the Courageous 12. They sued the city more than 50 years ago for racial equality and the right to do their jobs. Well, we spoke with Leon Jackson, the last surviving member of the Courageous 12, about that historic move. We could not arrest whites. We could not investigate complaints from white citizens. We could not work in a white neighborhood. We could only work in the black neighborhoods. That's why Leon Jackson, along with the other members of the Courageous 12, say they considered themselves half officers. They wanted equality in who they could police and followed Freddie Crawford's idea of meeting with the police chief to talk about the inequality. But after two meetings... He had refused to meet with it anymore, so Freddie said, let's sue him. And that's how uh, the ball started rolling to get the lawsuit go going. The lawsuit, a first of its kind. It took three years and lots of pushback at work, putting them in danger. But after a hard, expensive fight, they finally got a victory in 1968. It was a big joy. I, I, I really, really uh, was glad to hear that the appeal court ruled in our favor. We paved the way, not only for African Americans in St. Petersburg in law enforcement, but we paved the way for African Americans in the entire nations in law enforcement. A battle they couldn't have won without their leader, Officer Freddie Crawford, who helped organize it all. Crawford passed away this past Friday at the age of 81. I felt that a legend had left us. A leader, a truly leader had left us. A funeral service for Crawford has been scheduled for June 1st at the Lawson Funeral Home in St. Petersburg.